Alrighty, here we go. Mm, the Sekiryu. Japanese Super Carrier. Improvement of the Hakuryu. 71k, uh, 71K health, 19... This plating doesn't matter. Uh, 14x2, 100mm guns, 7.3 km range. 7.3? I think that's the same as Nahimov. I think Nahimov is 7.3 or 7.5, somewhere around there. Mm, let's look at the A. 522, 322, 12 flak! Wait, what is what is the US? 12 flak? Really? Flak spawn. 11 flak for the US. What's the AA values on this thing? Far. Aura damage. 308. Okay, it's 308. 444, 203. Oh, so this doesn't have short range AA. But 522 mid range. Let's look at the Hakuryu for this one, guys. So this also has 11 flag. It has uh, the far aura 1283 and 392 for the medium. Medium for this one is. Wow. Okay. Hmm. 12 flag, though. This is the most for carriers that we have in the game so far. I thought United States and Haku would have more, but... Or the same amount? Wow. 35 knots. That's really fast. 35 knots? Okay, it rounds up. 35. So it's Haku. 35 knots? I didn't realize Haku goes that fast. Tragic turning radius. Rudership 17.5. Detection 15.5 is... Okay, you 15.5 is uh, 1km worse than the midway, I believe. Yeah, 15.4, so th it, it's one off. What about the United States? US is 15.7, I think? Okay, same as the US. Shitty acceleration, just like all carriers now. Everything is boosted up to 60 second acceleration. At least this thing has better consumer than Graf Zeppelin, give, just to give you an idea. Better... Detectability in Graf Zeppelin. Standard squadrons, these are um, these are copy pasted from the Hakuryu, so we're not going to take a look at them. Hakuryu is exactly copy paste of these, no difference at all. Everything's the same. By the way, by, because this is a super carrier, I'm going to assume that these standard squadrons have the same type of the the launch boosters that United States and Eagle has. Um, it should just be logical at this point that they're going to have this on the standards. Uh, let's see, the, uh, this also has AP bombers, right? It has AP bomb, yeah. Tactical squadrons, attack aircraft, it's 14.5, it's actually a little bit less, okay. Cruising is this, uh, 175. <clears throat> Let me check what the US is. Bearcat, Grumman, here we go, 175, so we can base it off of that. What's the torpe torpedoes? Torpedo regen is 275. That is the that's the same as the uh, Eagles, I believe. Eagles is two seventy five for the torpedo bombers. Let me double check here. The Canberra is two seventy five. Okay, so if we look at the United States, we can go down to so the attack aircraft are going to be one fifty eight seconds regeneration, and then the Eagle or the torpedo bombers for the tacticals are going to go down to two forty eight seconds. It's not the worst, but I mean it's free squadrons, right? So if we were if we think about the United States and their <clears throat> and their play styles, this is um once the 175 from the United States going down to 158, 158 seconds. This means the Hakuryu or sorry the the carrier uh, was it? They use two squadrons of their standards. So you do a torpedo bombing run for this for the Sakuryu, torpedo bombing run, and then a rocket run. And then your attack aircraft will be will be readied up. That's one fifty eight seconds right there. Because the United States, what what you would generally do is you'll use your rockets first, strike a target, and then use your dive bomber squ uh, squadron like two attacks of them, two or two or one attack, and then your attack aircraft will be up. Now this is fine. The regeneration is fine. They said the machine gun, it should be the same as the Hakuryu because these are copy pasted. So everything is going to be the same. If we're going to take a look at the torpedo bombers, it has more health, a little bit more cruising speed, two and then one torpedo of each. 
same torpedo damage, same speed, same um, range. Everything is copy pasted. The main issue is that these things are going to be really freaking fast because if we do the math, the way how the the jets are calculated for their speed is you're just going up, you're doubling it basically. It's just a it's just a doubling because the improvement for the maximum engine speed on the tactical aircraft is improved by 100%. We're looking at 346 knots on the jets for the rocket attack aircraft. And then if we look at the torpedo bombers, which go... How fast these go? 148? 296, which is already faster than the United States torpedo bombers, um, tactical squadrons. I think US goes 260-something. How long can they maintain that speed? It's a 30-second engine boost that does not regenerate. But you can also but you, you can improve it. So if you take a look at the torpedo bombers on the set, the United States. <clears throat> so it's engine boost time, 30 seconds. But if you take things like this, improved engine boost skill, it bumps it up just a little bit, the, the capacity of it. And then on top of that, you're taking things like speed and then, right, taking speed and all that kind of stuff. I don't, th I don't think this shows it on here. But you get more engine boost duration on engine boost capacity with this skill. And on top of that, you have this. So these are going to be faster. So the torpedo bombers will break 300 knots. It was what, 296? <clears throat> yeah, so these guys will break 300. I think really close to 300 actually, like 303, 305. Still freaking fast and uh, yeah. Everyone has been shitting on this because they're like, oh, these tactical squadrons are the same copy-pasted as what the Hakuryu has. It's the same copy-paste as what the standard squadrons are for this carrier. There's nothing special, right? The United States is still better. They're saying, why would I play this over the Hakuryu? What is my incentive of spending 50-some millions of credits for this? My reasoning for thinking this carrier is... In an, is is able to keep up with United States? Yes, that. You have you have free squadrons that load up and Hakuryu is already one of the best carriers in the game. It's a really fast free torp drop, yes. It's a really fast free, um, it's a free torpedo bomber squad and a free rocket squad that has special rockets. Quote unquote special. We gotta see for sure what this, what kind of rocket style this is. But Haku alone is one of the best carriers in the game tier for tier, like at tier at 10, it is the it is the top dog. And the fact that Sekiryu has three standard squadrons instead of the usual two that US and Eagle has makes it even better because the issue with United States and Eagle is you have only two standard squadrons, which results in you getting deplaned a lot of the times late game. And you're more reliant on your gimmick, which is tactical squadrons and rotations. That's why rotations is really important with tactical or with the super cvs united states and eagle but for security you're more focusing on your standard squadrons your main your big power that is hakuryu is, is built into your ship and you're less reliant on your tactical squadrons and more focused on your standard squadrons and this alone is enough to keep up with the united states and eagle and not and maybe not in terms of burst damage that that the united states has or the insane um, damage firing capabilities that the Eagle has. But because the Hakuryu is focused for torpedo bombers, one of the strongest type of um, armament in the game, this is insane for the Sekiryu to have three, three uh, standards. Yes, the tactical torpedo bombers is like your way of conserving, letting your plane, letting your three standard squadrons regenerate. It gives you like two minutes of regeneration and this applies to all three of your standard squadrons and you have two tacticals too so this is like it's a different way of viewing different way of viewing the way how carriers can be quote-unquote implemented balanced i wouldn't say balanced but implemented uh, for super carriers specifically you're not focusing on the huge damage burst which is united states torpedo bombers or the insane rockets um you're not focusing on the damage over time, fires and flood, perma flooding that the Eagle has, or you know, abusing the fact that there are some 32 millimeter ships out there, so they can't defend themselves. The the Sakiryu is going to be more focused around playing like a normal Haku, but you ha now have two answers 
to you you have two options to use when your standard squadron is going low on on reserves the that's the biggest thing biggest reason why i believe that this is going to be a very strong carrier a super carrier it doesn't have the burst but it has the ability to conserve your planes wait for late game and also it has the ability to kill to focus someone down with torpedo bombers and also you have the ap die bombers as well this thing's going to have such great impact on the game eagle lacks a uh, game impact and being able to carry the game because it has only he and it has really rng um ordnance so it's more focused around like it's more focused around um damage uh fires and floods it has burst it has damage with this torpedoes and all that kind of stuff but this is the security is just better than the eagle because you have rockets now you can deal with, you have an answer to deal with destroyers eagle does not Meanwhile, for the United States, she lacks her really good torpedo bombers, standard torpedo bombers. And midway torpedo bombers are really fucking scary if you know how to use them. And the United States lacks that. She re- that's why she's more reliant on tactical squadron torpedo bombers to make up for that. Make up for that huge, you know, lack of burst or consistent damage from the standard torpedoes. But now Sakiryu, she has this on top of, on top of the jet boosters that she gets with the standard squadrons whenever she launches a plane. I I don't know. I can only think of this thing being really strong already. Like the damage, this is just a. It doesn't need more damage. People are saying the damage is low, but it really doesn't matter because you'll just be using this as a quick in between, kind of like how think of it like a haku. If you use your rockets, you're using it as an in between um, for the torpedo bombers to come back or load up. So everyone out there who's saying that the Sakiryu is weak. Is a weaker United States? Is a weaker Eagle? It's just I don't, I don't see how that's possible. I mean, uh, I mean, I guess people can you know people have opinions, so which is fine. But it just was just the way I view it. Honestly, I was kind of sad to see that they would announce a super carrier, which is Japanese, instead of um, a real carrier. It's kind of sad. So, which ships are you guys excited for? Oh my god. <laughs>